Your supply chain has many steps. Disrupting any one of them can lead to critical shortages or costly overstock, either of which can impact patient care. One kind of disruption is called demand amplification, or the bullwhip effect. This happens when end users such as hospitals reacting to changes in demand over or under order supplies. In response, distributors and manufacturers change their orders. The difference between projected and actual needs grows larger with every step, resulting in too much or too little inventory for everyone. In theory, managing your supply chain should be relatively simple. Order 100, use 100, reorder. A controlled and predictable pattern. Of course, it's never that easy. First, the product may not be delivered in the amount you need. You need 17 per week, but it comes in lots of 20. So some weeks you order one lot, some weeks two, some weeks none. Also, predicting demand can be difficult due to such things as seasonal illnesses or an increase in optional procedures once patients meet their deductibles later in the year. In general, demand varies for four reasons. First, increases in your hospital census affect demand. Then there is clinical practice. Each health professional works a little differently, uses different products. Seasonality, your needs change during flu and allergy seasons. Finally, demographic changes such as college students heading south during spring break and older adults following the seasons impact demand. Hospital census, clinical practice, seasonality, and demographics each cause demand to change, affecting your supply chain. Now consider that each is always changing, creating complexity and often dramatic fluctuations in demand. Let's look at a hypothetical example of how it works. Flu season is predicted to be worse than expected. Demand rises for respiratory products and patient use increases from four cases to eight. Since you expect an even stronger flu season, you order 16 cases, more than needed so you don't run out. Your distributor sees your order for 16 cases, so they react and order 32 cases from the manufacturer. Excess ordering extends and is amplified throughout the supply chain. Each step in the supply chain overreacts to ensure that they have adequate inventory to meet the demands of their customers. Now consider that other hospitals are also overordering. What's more, there's not an endless supply of product. Hospitals can order so much that suppliers simply can't keep up and supplies run out. That's demand amplification, and the results can be costly. Inadequate inventory means you don't have supplies when you need them. Excess ordering means you have inventory you don't need, and that may become short-dated and expired. You're also tying up financial resources, paying for, and storing all that inventory. That was just one example. Think of the thousands of items in your supply chain and how demand variation affects them. These variations may seem unpredictable, but with the right data and analytics, you can see and predict patterns and trends in your usage. We can't eliminate changes in demand, but understanding them allows you to react appropriately and help control demand amplification. And controlling that helps control costs, a must for every hospital. Costs such as storing and transporting excess inventory. Costs of wasted resources if out-of-date supplies must be discarded. And staff costs, because less time counting inventory means more nursing time at bedsides. Considering the potential savings, you have to look at your supply chain and ask, do we have visibility to data that allows us to see patterns or trends? Are we overreacting to one-time variations because we lack visibility to key data? At Cardinal Health, we want to partner with you to simplify inventory management, to help you better understand demand patterns, to gain visibility to data that helps you more accurately assess true variations. Cardinal Health Inventory Management Solutions can provide you with the right inventory management tools and the data analytics software to allow you to see predictable trends for both lower cost consumable products and high cost physician preference items. Let us show you how you can more effectively manage your supply chain.